Good morning, everybody. From the top of chairback. It's beautiful up here. Look. Morning views. How beautiful. And we are like three and a half miles away from Todd Ironworks Road, where Skip and Donna are meeting us there with some breakfast and some sandwiches to go and the rest of our resupply for the next couple days. This is beautiful. Chairback Mountain. It's downhill from here to Katana Iron Road. So yeah. I hope you guys have a great, great day. And I'll touch back with the cool stuff and the views. You know. Just like I do. Beautiful. It is. I know. Yeah, early and later at night too when you hike that long. It's the lighting. Perfect. What a beautiful part of trail. This is nice. <laughs> We're probably like a mile and a half away from, or well, probably a mile from the road, Katahdin Ironworks Road. And then we're probably a mile and a half from the river forward, uh, Gulf Hayes, where you take a side trail to the parking lot. I mean, I guess you could walk down the road I think I walk back down the road and then go on trail. I'm just gonna go trail all the way to the river forward, Blue Blaze to Gulf Pegasus Trailhead parking lot. Seems to be like the best option for me, anyways. And I can't wait. Got some some McMuffins down there from McDonald's. Sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffins. Mm -mm -mm. Two of them, and then I know for a fact that. Uh, Skip and Donna are going to make us, like, lunch sandwiches to go, which is even better. <laughs> More food, better. More food, better. <laughs> it's all we're thinking about is food. And Pink Hot Dog and Mushroom are a little bit behind me. They're not far behind me, but I'm like, I got McDonald's on my brain. So I might just see them at the parking lot. I don't know. Maybe I'll wait for them at the road. And then we'll do that last little point, whatever it is, to the the river forward. And I'm rambling <laughs> about food. I could talk food all day. Almost like hiking. Or talking about the AT, actually. I could talk about the AT probably all day, every day. But no one wants to listen to that all day. Their loss. Ooh. So beautiful. Oh. Why, please? Boop. We're almost to the river ford where the blue blaze is. Takes me to the parking lot. Mm, I can taste the McDonald's from here. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Mmm, made it to the truck. Look, here's my bag of goodies. 
Look at this, though. What flavor you need? <laughs> uh, so does mean beans, lunch meat. Ziplocs, paper plates. It's about to go down here. Tell you what. And this morning I was cooking my coffee, right? <laughs> Funny little story. Uh, so I had my water. It was all boiled up. I went to take it off my stove, knocked it over, dumped it all over. So I couldn't use that water, of course, because it's in the dirt. <laughs> and then I ran out of fuel. So but I knew there was fuel down here at the road. So that's perfect. I didn't need to have my coffee this morning. So I'm getting coffee with steroids. All righty. Hmm, I've got a full belly. <laughs> Thank you, Skip and Dana, once again. As always, um, they were there at Katahdin Ironworks Road at the Golf Hagas Trailhead with McDonald's, ham sandwiches, monster drinks, chips, snacks, canisters for fuel. It was like better than an outfitter or a grocery store resupply, if you ask me. I mean, it's great. And we'll see them again in, what, three more days? Sunday. We'll see them Sunday. Today's Friday. Yeah, we'll see them Sunday sometime at Joe Mary Road, where we'll get our last resupply from them, guys, to get us to Golden Road. So, yeah, huge, huge shout out. Skip and Donna for reaching us at Katahdin Ironworks with some more food, uh, trail food, and real food. Mm -mm -mm. And now we are getting ready to climb. We're going to climb up to Sydney Tapping Campsite tonight. It's a nice little campsite. I've never stayed there. I've always wanted to. So this is perfect. I get to stay there tonight. Mm. And then maybe, who knows, maybe we'll get up early in the morning. And try to get a sunrise from Whitecap. And it's an option. We'll see. For now, we're just walking around this cool little forest. Oh, and the Gulf Haggis side drill. One of these days, I'm going to come back up here for a couple nights. I'm going to do like an overnight in Gulf Haggis. Like walk there about halfway, set up camp somewhere. And walk back out the next day. Just to really, really enjoy it. I think it's only an eight mile loop, but imagine like sleeping in and like, okay, let's just do four miles today. And then camp in this beautiful, beautiful place. And then four miles back out to the car the next day. Perfect. Who knows? I might even carry a chair if I'm only doing four miles. One of those little camp chairs. Look at this. Squirrel. How pretty it is. Rainbow. It's a side trail, like point three off the AT. Worth it. <laughs>
my pants. <laughs> so, we just left Screw Auger Falls. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful waterfall. So it's, it's so crazy how it's so close to the trail. And most through hikers are just like, if it ain't white, I ain't doing it. Uh, that Blue Blaze Trail to Screw Auger Falls is totally, totally worth it. Can't recommend it enough, to be honest. And to think some people just walk right on by, it's like, how many more times in your life are you going to be that close to that thing? It's kind of how I feel about Golf Vegas. Like, I should have been back there already by now. As many times as I've hiked by it and talked about going there, there's no reason for me not to go there. <laughs> but it's a little different than, you know, point four than comparing it to four miles. So, yeah, at least take the Screw Auger Falls Trail at that turn off. You will not regret it. And I'm rambling. <laughs> so crazy. I'm like a, a talkative today for some reason. It's been a good day. We've only got like I don't know, five and a half miles left to get to our destination tonight. It's like noon, one o'clock. We've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. What a nice walk from Screw Auger Falls, Screw Auger Falls, <laughs> to the Carl Newhall Lean To. It's a nice walk in the woods. Really gradual up, and doesn't even really feel like you're climbing. And bonus, we're walking by a nice stream. For a lot of it, we've been walking by the stream, anyways. It's really pretty. Hold on. Let me get up here. I think there's a little spot. Yeah, right here. Nice. They were walking by the stream for a while. Behind the scenes. Alrighty, so we just passed Carl Newhall Lean To and we're heading up Golf Hagus Mountain. And then we'll go over the summit of that. And then drop down to Sydney Tappan campsite. We're like a mile and a half away. 
So we're not too far. Up, down. And we'll be there. Top of Gulf Vegas. Our last climb of the day. So we've got, I don't know, 0 0.9, 0 0.8 to the campsite. Alrighty, guys. End of the day recap. Day 94. We left Chirbat Gap Lean 2, 2105.8. And we're now sitting at Sydney Tappan Campsite, 2117.6. Makes it 11.8 mile day, everybody. And today was great. I can't say thank you enough to Skip and Donna for uh, everything uh, on and off trail. But today on trail, pretty amazing. McDonald's in the parking lot. Ham sandwiches to go. Had our resupply there for us. Perfecto. <laughs> And it looks like we are, tomorrow we're going to go over Whitecap. And then the next morning we should be at Joe Mary Road or the next day. So Sunday we'll be at Joe Mary Road to get our last resupply to get us to A-Ball Bridge from skipping down to James. <laughs> Anyways, beautiful day. Huge shout out to HST. And that's a wrap. Day 94, 11.8 miles. And I hope you guys... Had a great, great day. And I'll touch back with you guys in the morning, baby.